discovered a new way to create million dollar commercials like this with just a few prompts and the use of AI. Big brands spend insane amounts of money and time producing commercials, but that's about to change. Higgsfield just launched a feature that lets you create professional quality ads in minutes with only a few prompts. So in this video, I will guide you through the entire process on how to write good prompts and how to use Higgsfield effects and get the best looking AI commercials possible. If you want to follow along, I will leave a link for Higgsfield in the description. First, you head over to Higgsfield and go to the top left where it says image, then choose create image. For each shot, we need to create the starting frame to then turn it into a cinematic video. For this video, I will show you how I made an insane commercial for Tesla, which took me less than 30 minutes. So, for the first scene, I wanted something simple before the action strikes. I mostly use the Higgsfield Soul model, but as you can see, you have more options if, for some reason, you want to use something else. I put the aspect ratio at 16 to 9 and quality at high for crisp quality end result. I also set the visual style to realistic, but you can experiment with the rest if you think it suits the commercial you're making. For this image of the Tesla, I prompted a casual iPhone shot of a red Tesla in a modern driveway, with soft daylight and natural framing. As you can see, Higgsfield Soul gives you four results each time you generate something, which makes it nearly impossible to not get at least one that you're happy with. This is a good image to start off the first shot for the Tesla commercial. Now it's time to turn it into a video. Since we're generating the images inside of Higgsfield, we can just go to the image we just generated, go to Animate, and click Video. That way, as you can see, the image is already added to the video generation page. Here, we have a couple options to choose from. First off, we have the VFX tab, which is actually one of the strongest parts of Higgsfield. Here, you can find tons of presets for cool viral effects that you may have already seen. I'd suggest that you go through these using the Explore page before creating anything, as this can help as inspiration to give you ideas on what you could create. Another thing you can do in the Explore page is you can click on any effect you like and see more examples of this effect being used, as well as the reference image and prompt that it was made with. Now, let's go back to the Video tab. Something really cool you can do with the Higgsfield VFX is click where it says Mix, and you can then choose more than one effect for your video. Get creative with this, and you can have some amazing results. Next up, we have the reference image that we just created, which is what the video's start will look like, and even a spot for an end frame if you want to use that. Right under that is the prompt box, where we describe what we want to happen in this specific scene. I'm actually going to show you how to write the best prompts for this in a little bit. Lastly, we have an option to change the video generation model. I'm going to stick to Higgsfield standard and the settings you see on the screen, but there are many more you can pick from like Kling 2.1, WAN 2.2, HILO 02, Cdance Pro, and even VO3. For this first scene of the Tesla in a driveway with the camera slow panning down, the settings I used are very simple. I chose the jib down effect from the Minimax tab. As you can see, all models have their own effects, but my favorite ones are definitely Higgsfield's own ones. For this one, we are going with this, though, as I really like the slow, smooth camera movement for the intro of our commercial. I actually don't need to use a prompt for this, since it is very straightforward, and the preset is doing all of the work for me already. For the next scene, I want to create a cinematic shot of the car's door handle with a hand coming in to open it. First, I created this image by prompting a close-up iPhone shot of a red Tesla's door handle opening in soft morning light with warm reflections and casual framing. Now that we have our image, go to video once again. For this one, I went with Higgsfield General because I didn't want any specific effect. Then I prompted a cinematic close-up of a Tesla's red door handle glowing in morning light with a hand reaching in to pull it open. Quick tip, what I always do with image to video is turn on Enhance Prompt to make my prompt even better. This can really help make a mediocre prompt give an amazing result. I think this one came out pretty good as well. It's a nice cinematic shot to transition going from outside to inside the car. Now after that, let's generate a nice scene from inside the car to show the interior. I made this image by prompting a candid backseat iPhone shot of a red Tesla, showing the driver relaxed at the wheel in soft morning light. I really like how this one looks, so let's animate it in the video tab. I played around with this, and the best result I got was with Cdance Pro General. I didn't give it any prompt, just make sure to have Enhance enabled and click Generate. Looks very nice in my opinion, and it looks like he has self-driving on at the start, which is a good thing that would very likely be in a Tesla commercial. Now, after starting off slow and cinematic, let's do a high-energy city driving scene with crazy camera movements. I want the Tesla to be on the highway with big buildings behind it and have it speeding through traffic. 
For this, I used a prompt of a wide iPhone shot of a red Tesla driving on a city highway with glass buildings and bright daylight reflections. I like this result, so now I'll show you one of my favorite effects. Go to video once again, and I will use the car chasing effect from Higgsfield with a prompt of a red Tesla speeding through a city highway past glass skyscrapers in late afternoon light. Just look at how nice the car looks cruising through the buildings. I would say the camera effects Higgsfield has are some of the best I've seen, and it's incredibly easy to use them too. It looks like something straight out of a real car commercial, and I love it. Now, I'm thinking about making some sort of follow camera shot where it looks like the camera is mounted at the back of the car, something only million dollar commercials could achieve, as you would need some of the craziest equipment to make that happen. For this image, I'll prompt a close up iPhone shot from behind a red Tesla on a sunlit road with soft tail lights and natural reflections. This shot is very nice, and I love how it seems to have a bit of a motion blur because it gives it a sense of high speed. So let's take it into video and make it even better. For a shot like this, you need to use the object POV effect. If you get creative with this effect, you can make some really impressive generations. I used a prompt for this, but honestly, you could probably get a good result even without one. So you can play around with that and see what's best for you. I prompted this. After that, I want to do another inside shot with a dog looking happy and relaxed in the car seat while the car drives itself, as I think that would be funny and fits the vibe of Tesla's being pet friendly with dog mode. I generated this image with a prompt of a candid Tesla interior shot featuring a happy dog in the seat, lit by soft natural daylight. This one actually looks perfect. The dog looks adorable and it's even resting its paw on the armrest. So now, to make it even more adorable for the video, I prompted this. For the last scene, I will do another one of my favorite Higgsfield effects. I want to generate an image of a man taking a break to charge his Tesla while checking his laptop for work and a crazy effect that would wrap up the commercial nicely. I use this prompt right here, then go to video effects and pick Earth Zoom Out. This is one of the most popular effects, and you've probably seen this before trending on social media. For this one, you also almost never need a prompt, but here's what I used. This honestly looks insanely good and would normally only be achievable with the most expensive CGI artists in the world, but Higgsfield lets you do it with just a reference image and no prompt. If you want to try out Higgsfield for yourself, then click the link in the description. Now, if you still have any questions about Higgsfield, then let me know in the comments. And if you want to see how the new WAN 2.2 compares to other AI video models, then check out the video on the screen right now.